up. I bought a couple of sort of not purpose built grow lights, but they're clip lamps um, from eBay, no, e not eBay, uh, from Amazon, which I'll leave uh, links to in the description below because they're very, very cheap. They're about, I think, £5.50 each, I think, um, and they seem to work really well. And I've got a couple of um, Edison screw bulbs um, that are, I think they're 600 Kelvin, which is about an appropriate amount to um, encourage growth from plants. And I have to say, I've had my plants in this for about a week, I think it's a week, yeah. And I've definitely seen a huge difference in um, some of my plants, like particularly my Philodendron micans um, has just <laughs> taken off with growth. Um, so it seems to be working pretty well. I haven't put my hygrometer in there, but I'm kind of meaning to because I want to monitor the temperature. But I also have it monitoring temperature for my hamster because my hamster, I don't want her to get too cold. Um, and my flat is currently somewhere around the 50, between 15 to 18 degrees at the moment, which is bordering a little bit too cold for my hamster. So um, I maybe need to get a second hygrometer. Um, or just stick it in there for a little while and just see uh, what the temperature is like but overall it seems to be working fairly well so I thought I would share it with you so it might actually be helpful for some other people you can totally see my chocolate right there see <laughs> um, don't judge me <laughs> right uh, I will get onto it and show you um, my mini greenhouse um, as I am now creating my indoor garden with a serious fury so let's go into it uh just walking over to it now i just wanted to correct myself i thought as i was saying it didn't sound quite right um but the bulbs are 6000 kelvin not 600 so before anyone panics that um my plants will be getting virtually no um light um it's 6000 kelvin so they should be all right right uh showing you the greenhouse now it's right there <laughs> so I suppose this is like a quite a good little view of my flat um, so I have my all my lovely plants my sort of more cold hardy plants on the window there uh, my bed which is just a mattress on the floor do excuse the mess I've not been like super super tidy uh, I'm feeling all autumnal at the moment uh, here's my lovely oh ow, nearly fell over there um, my lovely Monstera Deliciosa which is like my pride and joy and a little selection of Calathea down there um, and uh, Microsorum Crocodilus the crocodile um, fern fiddle leaf fig um, and basically, getting on to the actual subject of <laughs> this video, we've got the um, mini greenhouse over here. Sorry, I hope you can't really hear my washing machine in the background too much. Um, so what it is, it's just this like plastic covering. Um, so try, the aim is to keep the humidity up and um, not um, let that escape so that the plants kind of can thrive in that environment. Um, we've also got four shelves, although I've actually taken one of them out for my taller plants down here. Um, so actually I've got three shelves. Hang on, I lie. Three shelves and I've taken one of them out and I've got two shelves. <laughs> uh, mass. Um, <laughs> right, so I'll probably work from the bottom. So first of all, we've got my little, um, this is my Begonia Amphioxus in here. I've just got it in a vase with a sandwich bag over the top to try and keep the humidity in as it has already lost most of its leaves. So that's not good. But in here, we've got a lovely croton. Um, we've got an avocado plant, some Diefenbachia, um, some, um, what's that? Uh, that's a, what has happened to my brain? Anthurium, <laughs> an Anthurium lily pink over there, um, and my ficus, a couple of philodendron uh, cuttings that are growing, uh, Raphidophora tetrasperma as well, um, and some Hoya. So what I've done is I've just got this lamp, I'll kind of take it off here so you can see. So I've got this lamp with the bulb in it, it's just a standard clip lamp, uh, plugs into um, the mains 
oopsie, <laughs> plugs into the mains. It kind of hangs quite nicely upside down. Um, it has got a, like an on-off switch as well, although I just plug it in or unplug it as and when. Um, but that seems to work really well. It doesn't get hot, like I can touch it. It's been on all day already and it's like completely cool. Um, the In front of the light is not hot at all because it's LED, so we're all good. Um, so yeah, and that just gives uh, plenty of room for my plants to grow in there and they seem to be doing really well so far so um, fingers crossed. Um, this is a bit of a plant hospital shelf um, for some plants that don't need quite so much light. They want some but not too much but these are mostly struggling uh, <laughs> plants so uh, let's just move on from that one. <laughs> um, and on the top here um, I have got oh, very exciting in the top corner there. Oh you can't see it's just my finger is a blob, uh, but that may or may not be a Monstera Deliciosa, no, Monstera Borsigiana Albo form. So that's exceptionally exciting. Uh, then I've got a little orchid. Um, I've got a couple of little propagations going there um, and my philodendron micans, which has been virtually dead, um, has just taken off in here. It's really loving life, so that's good. My Begonia maculata whitei, um, which also has been struggling a bit lately, but it's got quite a bit of new growth since moving into here. And my Anthurium clarinervium, clarinervum, I can never remember. Um, and finally, my Monstera adansonii at the back there, which I, I just need to get rid of a couple of yellow leaves off there, but it's looking pretty good. So, um, overall, it seems to be working quite well. Um, Obviously, it's probably not ideal to have temperature sensitive plants in a very cold flat, but um, I love my plants, so what are you going to do? Um, oh, let's just turn around. So that is how I plan to overwinter my plants. For the remaining of them, um, I have a lot of cacti. I think they should be okay. Most of them are cold hardy. Um, I'm just going to keep them as dry as possible, not going to water them. Um, whereas the ones in here, I am going to keep watering um, probably only once they dry out. Um, and the plants on my windowsill, I'm just going to keep spraying them so that they keep moist because I've got a small heater, uh, heater under the wall, under, under the windowsill. Um, so I don't want them to dry out and suffer from lack of humidity. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I will at some stage do a little plant tour when I've got everything just a little bit more um, easy to see. But um, the grow lights seem to be making a big difference. By this time last year, I think I was beginning to see quite a few plants struggling, whereas at the moment they seem to be, touch wood, <laughs> all doing fine. And interestingly, um, I did have some problems with mealybugs, um, with particularly with my Xanthosoma uh, frozen planet or Xanthosoma sagittifolium. Um, it seems like, I saw a couple this morning, but nothing like the infestation that it had. So it seems like, touch wood, uh, they really don't like the cold. So um, it seems like the cold might have helped to get rid of some of the mealybugs. So that's at least one positive thing, um, but we'll see. Everything else seems to be doing all right. So fingers crossed. Um, I would love to know how you um, are planning to overwinter your plants, um, particularly if you also live in a cold uh, environment or um, also I'd just like to know like what your winter regime is. So if you have any videos, make sure you let me know and I can check them out um, or um, send them to me on Instagram. I'm at besotted with the potted. Um, but yeah, so and let me know in the comments what you're doing for your plants over winter. Have you got anything that's struggling? I I do have one that's struggling, which makes me really sad. So it was the, um, oh, what's it called? Dichidia numerifolium, I think it is, that I got from uh, replant.nl uh, over the... I think it was a couple of weeks ago now um, and it just seemed to start dropping leaves I don't know why um, but once I looked into it like the um, the the way that it had been potted had there was so much excess um, soil for what was 
there on like the, the root ball. Um, I don't know whether it was just over watered or what happened to it. Um, so I've kind of cut it up and I'm <laughs> trying to propagate it. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not holding my breath on that one. It will be really sad, but hopefully it will pull through. Um, everything else seems to be doing all right. Um, I had a big problem with my philodendron Brazil over the whole summer. I don't know what happened. I think it must have just been overwatered, but it seems to have like clawed its way back to life and it now has about 16 new growth points. So. I don't know, sometimes in the winter it's like the best time for your plants. I don't really understand. Um, so yeah, let me know how your plants are doing because I would love to hear and I love sort of trading stories with people about, I don't know, not horror stories but like the struggles and the ups of plant keeping. It's just, I don't know, it's a nice hobby to have. So anyway, after I've waffled on about I don't actually know what anymore. Um, <laughs> let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you're doing to overwinter your plants. Thank you very much for watching and um, subscribe if you liked this content um, because I would love to have an indicator of how people are enjoying it. Thanks very much, bye.